Cantor, Louisiana. Are you there? Yes, sir. Hi, what's your name? My name is William. Hi, William. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. Thank you. So what kind of questions do you have today? Uh, yes, I was wondering, tell me how many future lives do I have left here on Earth before I can get out the Galactic Ascension Machine? It's an interesting question. Have you listened to a lot of the material? Yes, I have. So what does the Galactic Ascension Machine mean to you? Is a karmic resolution machine. Okay. Have you completed all of your karma? Uh, I'm not certain. So then, what is the point of wanting to leave something that's meant to resolve your karma? Uh, I would, I guess I meant it more like, um, you know, I'm not saying I want to leave now, I'm just curious on how many more incarnations or reincarnations I have until let's say they drop the galactic ascension machine better there you go go now now you've engaged your genius perfect and you've answered the question and the answer is what is your perception of linear time and why does it influence you in seeing incarnations and reincarnations is not already happening with you already out of the galactic ascension machine (laughs) <laughs> I never thought of it that way. Because everything is perspective and point of view. As I've said on a number of shows, linear time was slow- solely created for this reality. No other place uses linear time like we do. None other. That's why it's a unique experience, and the Galactic Ascension Machine is such a highly prized machine because it is a belief engine. There are no moving parts to it. It's an engine of belief woven together through thousands and millions of generations that were born in DNA skin suits that were here to do what? Resolve karma. 987,000 skin suits hold all of the resolution. That's how, that's how many different versions of human beings there are. A little, a little under 200,000 of those skin suits live on the surface of our world. So that's a full 80% of our soul family is not even available on the surface of the world. This longing you feel to be free is really the longing to simultaneously exist with all of those beings that matter and the greater strength of our soul. And it is only our perception that limits us from connecting to them. That's why in the course, Living the Mystical Life Daily, there is a meditation teaching that is by design to create soul family reunion. Have you seen that one? Uh, I've gotten the one with the heart meditation, yes. So this is the, this is not, this is called the soul family reunion. So this is actually in, in the course. It's the, the eighth meditation teaching. And in this one, you, you go through this process of um, claiming your energy, getting your spot in your soul family council of elders, making it a master emanation point, becoming part of hierarchical and non-hierarchical time, and then you make a declaration to all of your soul family members to come and have a soul family reunion here on earth, and then there's a, an additional process that solidifies that with an RSVP process that asks asks those soul families in the right and perfect alignment to come and visit you in the dream space of Earth. That right there, you're outside of the galactic ascension machine. As multidimensional, multifunctional photonic beings of light, one perception is not our limitation. We have, as our limitation, we have thousands of perceptions we could have simultaneously, and it not affect and damage this reality. That's greater awareness.